it's hard to believe that it was 10 years ago, but uh, let's go back to WrestleMania 30. When you're looking at that match card, do you realize the position that you're in just looking at the card? Like you come on after Undertaker, Brock Lesnar. You realize after the streak ends like, what position you're in. <laughs> That's when you go, oh, okay. But I assume you're looking at it and they're, they're keeping this, you know, close to the vest. You're looking at this and going, oh, it's it's Undertaker, Brock, it's Undertaker, WrestleMania. Of course, Undertaker's going to win. Then we have our match after. Mm -hmm. I was there. I remember like the air being sucked out of the building. Oh, like, yeah. It was quiet for a long time after mm -hmm. that. What was the feeling before? And then what was the feeling when you went out there? I guess it really hadn't crossed my mind that Take would lose or that those thoughts hadn't really gone through my mind. Um, and then basically I, I remember everyone was just super excited, you know, to be in that position, have this girls match and yep. going out there. And second last match of the night too. Yeah, great. Yeah. My first WrestleMania. Amazing. This is amazing, you know, something I've always wanted to do. And then that happens. And I remember then all the girls start to kind of like look around and talk. And then there's people saying, oh, our match might get canceled because of like the reactions or what's happening or if it's going long. Like, so we thought maybe we weren't even we're like, I'm, we're not even going to go out. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> what's happening? And then I'm, then I'm seeing, you know, the, on the cameras and the screens, the reactions of people and everyone's devastated. There's an awkward silence. And then, and then it just became awkward for, for us, or for me anyway, because then they were just kind of like, all right, we're going to do it. We're going to have the match. And they're just like, come on, um, get out there. So we just like filed out like side ramp <laughs> to the ring. And then we all just kind of stood in the ring until we came back from whatever it was and like they were ready to start the match. But it was just like we were out there in front with everyone and probably the last few entrances need to happen with the, the music but the rest of us were already in the ring and then was just looking around like no one wanted to see our match at that time. <laughs> no one cared about a Divas Battle Royal. Yeah. Well, there was about uh, 15 minutes or so of people just, all the fans, yeah. I remember just being like, was that a mistake? Yeah. Like, did yeah. that actually, wait a second, what? what? He lost. Yeah. yeah. And then I think it was, it was 22 and one, I think, right? And that came up on the screen and everyone went, oh, that was supposed to happen? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait a second, what? And then next thing you know, you guys are out there. Right, we're like, put the divas on now. <laughs> go, like, go, go. Uh, and we're like, guys, but come on. We are, we're still, wait a, what was yeah, that? They yeah. were just still taking it all in. So, and I would say anybody that was going to follow that would yes. have had a hard time, oh, yeah. not just because we were females, um, but it definitely was just an awkward spot to be in because it just felt like no one, no one's watching a match right now. They're it, all wondering what the hell just happened. It reminded me a lot of what they did at WrestleMania 18. Like, I think a lot of people forget it was Rock Hogan followed then by Trish Lita and Jazz in a three-way match. Then there was another match after that. And it's like, why wouldn't you just put Rock Hogan on last? Like, right. Maybe Undertaker should have closed the show with his loss. And, right. Well, then you wouldn't have had. That was a great. Yes, 30. Yeah, the 30 was. Yeah. yeah. But then then do you, do you go to the back after that and go. What even just happened out there? Yeah. And then actually there's a funny story. Um, so not just that, but then in the match I had, you know, the, <laughs> those kind of matches you kind of get like your little moment to shine kind of thing. And I was um, doing a little spot with Cameron. Um, and I think I was, I literally was doing my tarantula on the ropes and that, maybe like the low splash something like that and I was like my only thing I was going to do in the match basically so I was like this is my time you know yeah. and right before it happens Cameron's like my top broke I can't do it and I was like <laughs> I was like what do you mean my top broke like what am I supposed to do about that I can't do you uh, one second guys let me just uh tie this back up good to go so I was like she was like someone I don't know if she was telling me or someone else was like yeah maybe like I was with her in the corner or something and she was kind of saying like um my top's not on my top's not on and I was like we got to go. We got to, this is my spot. <laughs> so I like whipped her to the buckle and then, or whatever it was. And she comes in and, and we do the tarantula and my legs are literally like holding her top on <laughs> while she's like selling in the corner. And then she takes it and rolls out. And then on the outside, she's like holding her top on. Wow. And go I think someone, and watch, folks. <laughs> oh. you don't, I don't think you could even tell probably no one ever knew, yeah. but it's just funny. Cause Anyone who's been in a battle royal knows that 
usually you don't have a lot of time and it's kind of, you know, everyone's watching 30 people, whatever it is. Yeah. And you kind of get your moment to do a couple moves and that's it. And you just kind of take it. Yeah. And I thought like, it, looking back, it was like, that was the only spot I had. <laughs> I was like, I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm doing but I also at the time thought, what else do we do? Like, I can't just not do anything now. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, it was kind of like on the spot, like, uh, sorry, dude. <laughs> that could have gone so much worse for it her. Could have. Yeah. <laughs> she could have. Yeah. She wow. could just been completely exposed <laughs> no. in a tarantula. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's just completely exposed. I can't believe it's that. It's really funny to me now, like after I realized, because I couldn't, I guess in the time I just, couldn't realize what was happening even. Yeah. That could have been the worst wardrobe, wardrobe malfunction ever. Yeah. yeah. But I bet people Stuck would have loved me for it. Yeah. I would have been so over. Everybody's <laughs> going to be going back and watching this frame by frame. Yeah. You know the comments on this video now on YouTube, like that of that match now on YouTube? Uh, okay. It's yeah. going to be all because I of this. Right. I want to go watch it back and see yeah. just like if you can yeah. tell. Yeah. If you can yeah. tell, yeah. I'm kind of like, what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know.